Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, with everybody buying new AR-15s, used AR-15s, a lot of people don't know, and I get a lot of questions on, what would be the best ammo for me to buy? Meaning, what would be the best weight, whether 55 grain, 65, 75, whatever it is, for their particular barrel. And the very first question that I ask them is simple. I say, what's the twist rate on your barrel? So today what we're going to talk about is the optimal ammo for a barrel that you own or the twist rate of that barrel. So where do you find the twist rate of that barrel? Well, it's usually stamped or written on the barrel itself. And it's usually represented as a 1 with a colon next to it. And it's going to have a 1 in 7, which is the most popular for 5.56 five, at least. Then a 1 in 8, which is almost as popular as the 1 in 7. And there are two more. There is a 1 in 9. And if you happen to pick up an older AR or a bolt-action rifle, you would find most likely a 1 in 12. So what do these numbers mean? Well, it's quite simple. The lower the number on the right of the colon, the faster the twist rate of the barrel, which means the faster it's going to spin the projectile. And that is extremely important. While there are other custom twist rates we're going to talk about today just the most popular ones that you can basically buy off the shelf out there and the fastest one that you can buy off the shelf out there on a regular basis which is most popular is the one in seven twist a good starting point for a one seven twist would be 69 grain 75 grain or 77 grain bullets the next most common barrel would be a one in eight twist and a good starting point for that would be a 65 grain projectile. A particular favorite of mine, and we're going to get into why in a little while, is the 1 in 9 twist barrel. Among some other good things, 62 grain projectiles are like crack for this barrel. From there, if you happen to find an older A1 or A2 style upper, or even a bolt action rifle, 1 in 12 will probably be the twist for that which I would recommend purchasing 45 or 55 grain ammo for that. Now that you have a starting point for your particular twist barrel, you can see here by the chart that for the most part, you will get by with a decent degree of accuracy for a range of bullet weights throughout all twists. So why does the faster twist barrel like the one in sever prefer a longer, heavier projectile, like the 70 plus grain bullet? Simple. A 1 in 7 twist barrel has rifling which will spin a projectile one revolution every 7 inches, which means that if you had a 16 inch barrel, the bullet would complete 2 and a quarter revolutions before leaving the barrel, as opposed to a 1 in 12 twist rate which would only spin that same projectile 1 and 1 third times. The faster the spin, the higher the revolutions per minute leaving the barrel, which can also equate to a higher velocity. Therefore, if you had a 77 grain bullet and fired it out of a 16 inch 1 in 7 twist barrel, then took that same 77 grain and fired it from a 16 inch 1 in 12 twist barrel, the heavier bullet would turn over two roof full rotations from the first, but only slightly over a single rotation from the second. Because the higher RPM of the 1 in 7, the 77 grain would fly straighter, further, and more accurately than the 1 in 12. On the other hand, if we did the same test with a 45 degree projectile, which is lighter and shorter than the 77 grain, the 1 in 7 twist would overspin the bullet. This would cause the bullet to lose stability, or yaw, resulting in what's called a keyhole on target, if it hits its target at all, depending upon your range. It'll wobble in the air. A 1 in 12 twist rifling would cause that 45 grain bullet just the right amount of spin and keep it steady and accurate all the way down range. Okay guys, so I want to just give you a starting point. So if you pick up a new rifle, what would be the optimal bullet weight for you to pick up? I know right now a lot of times we don't have a choice and everything is going to get you within this right here. It's going to get you within three inches on target at 100 yards. But I want to be able to go all, go along. We all don't have the ability to shoot some past 100 yards, some past 50, some past 200, 300 yards. And we want to say what would be the optimal bullet weight for you to get without having to reload the exact bullet weight for that particular barrel and its twist rate. Next, 
I'm going to go into the 1 and 9 twist, which I mentioned earlier in this video, which is kind of a favorite of mine. I'll see you guys on the next one. Practice proper fire and safe technique at all times. Charlie Mike. Charlie Mike. Oh, yeah. What up?